Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valinda. I'm Green and Happy Mom, and I'm passionate about teaching you to live as sustainable as possible for you and your family. And if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button below and never miss out on my new videos. What are we doing today? Today we're sewing again, and we are making a bread bag because my mom picked up a new hobby. Well, mostly out of necessity because. Bread is getting more and more expensive, so she purchased a bread maker and she asked me to make a few reusable bread bags for her. So that's what we will be doing today, making reusable bread bags. And I made these to fit, well, a bread maker, so um, the bread you purchase in the supermarket probably won't fit these. But if you have a bread maker and you're like, hmm, I need something to put them in, these might be for you. So let me show you how I made these. Okay, we're making a bread bag. I'm using this mold, the baking tin as a mold. Because I tried to make a bread and that I, in that case I would use it as a mold, but my bread failed. So I'm using this. As you can see, I've never made this before and I don't have a pattern or a mold or anything, so you see how I do this completely from scratch. because you want to give your bread some space and I also need to make a seam so 30, 85 by 30 85 by 30 I'm gonna cut this off because oh I need to cut a little bit more because there's no POL layer you can see the difference where it starts and where it ends 85 is here. Um, I can do a lot freehand, but this is a bit too far from the edge to make a good estimation by 30. <coughs> and for this, I just follow the pattern. It's a bit wider, but that's okay. Do I make two? I think I make two right away. This one's a bit better. Okay. Now, first we make a seam. Because I'm not gonna work with a zipper but with snaps and snaps need three layer three layers of POL fabric. Otherwise the fabric isn't strong enough. I learned that the hard way, so I need to fold it a couple of times to create enough layers. Other side. Okay, time to sew. I will be sewing a simple straight stitch for this seam. Oops, nothing too complicated, just a straight line to make sure the fabric is in place. one 
uh, trimming the edges. Now, I need to check if what we just made is big enough, because I think it is, I just don't know for sure. We're gonna use clips to temporarily keep the fabric together to see if it's if it is the correct size. Turning it right side out. Can't put too much pressure on it, otherwise the clips won't hold. Yeah. And there's enough overlap. The clinking is from all the clips to the metal. Yeah, this is big enough. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna properly clip it in place because I want the places where I want the places where there are three layers of POL fabric here to overlap with the other side with three layers of POL fabric because that's the place where we will be applying the snaps and it is convenient if they are close to each other. This side was a, is a bit prettier soon compared to this side so I want that one on top because that side will be visible, and this one is then at the bottom, not visible. For this part we will be using a serger because uh, I have one, so I'm gonna use it. But you could do this with a regular sewing machine as well. I left a pretty big piece of yarn on there it's because we're gonna sew that on what we just stitched otherwise there's a bigger risk of fraying and it falling apart learned that the hard way so this is more convenient and be careful when you're stitching now because there's a knife here that could cut up your work we don't want that so careful Again, stitching the leftover yarn in place. And I'll cut it short. And we're doing the same for the other side. Now the other one. We're gonna do the same for the other one. Now trimming the edges, pulling the yarn so I create a knot and then I cut off the leftover yarn. Pulling it, not all the threads at once but just one at a time. Don't pull too hard that you're breaking the yarn. That way you could undo your work. Don't want to do that. Just oh. giving them a nice pull one by one. Let's see if it's 
still fits. could cut off this part. Let me see how long is it. It's almost 10 centimeters. That's a bit too much. I'm not gonna risk cutting off that much. But five should be doable. Again, trimming the edges. Now, let's see if it was worth it to do the bottom like this. If it's not, then I don't do the other one. Let's see if it was that. Oh, yeah, it looks better. I'm gonna do the other one as well, and then I finish off with applying a few snaps here to properly close it. I don't think you really need to close it, but it's nice to properly close it. So I have two finished bread bags here. Just they need a snap. Or two, three, I think three. So large sandwich bags, I do two. These are even larger, so make it three. Female snaps, I always do females first because ladies first. Um, this one is we measured 30, it's there's 26 left. I want one in the middle that is 13. There's a pointy side on the snap, but uh, it, it doesn't really want to go through POL fabric, so I always use a pokey thingy to measure or to measure to pressure uh, to press uh, to make a hole. Words are hard. The 
daughter side, or not daughter side, prefers doing all the females. Um, oh, this one turned up. I think this is. I first did this one. No, the first one I, I cut a little bit wider. So now I have uh, 24. No, 30. 28. So then the middle is 14. I'm again feeling where the triple layer is because I want it to go through the triple layers. Male steps. In this case, I'm measuring, it should be 14 because this one was 28 wide. But I'm also feeling because I can feel the snap on the other side. And that should be the same distance, but you never know. Therefore, I'm doing both. Also feeling for the triple layer. Yeah, perfect. Well, the other one was slightly better. But they're both still usable, so I think these are nice gifts. So this is how I made the bread bags. I think they look pretty cute. I think it was a success and I hope you liked them as well. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you for my next sewing project. Bye guys.